Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus with David Gibbons. Hello, thanks for joining me. The South Pacific island of Itataki has been devastated by what is believed to be one of the most powerful tropical storms ever to hit the Cook Islands. Locals estimate the Category 4 cyclone has blown away 90% of the roofs from homes and has left only about half of the houses standing. Schools, hospitals and administrative buildings have been destroyed. But the islanders are thanking God that no one has died with only minor injuries from flying glass reported so far. We will be um, sort of starting a response uh, as soon as that initial assessment comes back. Uh, they've been working with uh, um, the NDMO there, which is the National Disaster Management Office. We're working through them to, to assess the needs and we have allocated uh, an amount of funding already to them. People are currently sheltering in churches, community halls and other larger buildings which escaped the worst of the damage. Unwanted by Thailand and often persecuted in Burma, the Karin ethnic group is in a dangerous position. Mission News Network reports Thailand's military is poised to forcibly return around 3,000 Karin refugees to Burma. Many of the Karin are Christians and are likely to face forced labour, rape and landmines if they return to Burma. It's a difficult situation in the border region for all concerned and we see our role as providing a safe environment for children caught up in the conflict until another solution can be found. It's believed that only the involvement of the international media and aid organisations has prevented the relocation from going ahead. What happens when a religious commitment clashes with a secular requirement? Sven Ostring is multi-faith officer for Curtin University in Perth, Australia. He has successfully advocated for Muslim students, ensuring that they'll be able to attend Friday prayers without affecting their attendance record. And through Ostring's intervention, a Chinese Seventh-day Adventist student was allowed to sit her English proficiency exam on Thursday rather than her Saturday Sabbath. The exam is conducted under high security and is a government requirement for international students in Australia. Yeah, the student's commitment to keep Sabbath has had much wider significance in that has prompted IELTS Australia um, to be able to provide um, non-Saturday exam dates um, in all of the capital cities right across Australia. Young people are encouraging one another to step up to the challenge of spreading the gospel instead of standing on the sidelines. This month, the Adventist Youth Conference, or AYC, ran training events in Melbourne and Sydney. A further event in Cairns is scheduled for May. Street ministry and door knocking are an integral part of the AYC experience. Many young people conquered their fears to share their faith in this way for the first time. AYC is the initiative of young adults, young people who want to take a hands-on approach to their faith. They're not there to be entertained, they're not there to be amused, they're there to really experience the message in a tangible way. And now to Assistant Editor of The Record, Jared Stackelroth. Hi Jared. Hi. I love the cover on this week's edition of Record. It's a very compelling image, David. Um, it's come to us from ADRA workers in Haiti have actually okay. taken some of these photos so we've got some sprinkled throughout the magazine we've got a bit of a report on the the whole thing over there so Good. and tell us what else is in record this this week well some of the Papua New Guinean politicians have actually met for some meetings f just to train them in the Christian walk I guess you'd say okay. and get um, improve their health um, in our opinion piece James Toogood asks the question have music wars killed worship so that's oh, a bit of a controversial interesting one. <laughs> issue um, also Mark Baines examines why young people may be disconnecting or leaving church so it's uh, quite an in-depth sort of look mm. he's done a whole survey on young people and had a look at um, some of the issues surrounding why they might be disconnecting from church so Good. it's quite an interesting read I'll take my copy now then and in the full half hour of In Focus this week, we battle the blues with Dr. Neil Nedley. Did you know, as well as being on Hope Channel, you can now watch the full half hour program on Channel 182 on Foxtel, Optus and Ostar in Australia and on Shine TV in New Zealand. And of course, you can watch In Focus online as well. Well, that's the news for this week. Thanks for your company. I'm David Gibbons.